Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Gimbal with Jimmy. Uh, I'm going to show uh, I've been playing the mastermind strategy um, in Crapsy, um, and I'm up $2,033 on this session. This was the session that I was playing a different strategy, and that strategy was a new strategy, and I was getting destroyed, and I was down like $2,600. So then that's when I created the mastermind strategy. I basically just started doing a specific strategy and I started analyzing everything. And the strategy literally got me back um, all of the $2,600 that I was down. And it, and it, then it went up 2033 I was up 2400 So I did lose uh, three, $400 back. So the highest we, we hit was 2400 so you're talking, uh, you're, guys, you guys are talking about, <clears throat> about a $5,000 swing. So this strategy literally has won overall like $4,500 since I created it. It's, it's, it hasn't lost anything. This strategy was not the reason why that I got down $2,600. I was just trying different things with, with a new strategy. So that's how I come up with strategies is I start doing creative things and some work and some don't. So I had to switch to something else and the mastermind was created. So what I've started doing with the mastermind is I'm also started betting the field uh, with not every, not every role, but I do bring in the field and that's what I want to share with you today. So for those of you that haven't seen the mastermind strategy. Um, you, I would recommend you go back and watch the mastermind. And um, we'll go ahead and play play the mastermind with the field, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, this, is, this is obviously the come out. So on the come out, I don't bet any box numbers. Um, I do bet a $15 field. Let me go ahead and make this screen bigger for you guys. So I bet a $15 field. And I do come over here to my hops. And I do hop the fives and nines for only a dollar. And I'm pretty much good to go. Okay, so that's going to be a total loss. of so we're going to lose 15 and 4. Um, so what we're trying to do with the field... <clears throat> is the field is designed to hit a field bet to cover our hops. Uh, sometimes, if because we're hopping the five and nine, so if we have the field and we hit the nine hop, we get paid on the field and the nine hop. If we hit the five hop, it reimburses us for the field. And now that it's the point, the point, the point's out, we now can do our bets on the six and the eight, which is going to protect the field, okay? And then we're going to hop the nines and fives. Now, we didn't hit the nines and fives, so we're going to go up and make it $2 on our field, okay? All right, so if we hit a field, it pays for the hops. If we hit a hop, it pays for the field. We're looking to free roll field. We're looking to f get field wins, like like that's perfect example. Okay, so we get paid two two places. We get paid on the field and for our nine hop. So see, that's thirty. We get thirty. We get a double double hit. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to our hops, and then. We're gonna go like this. So we're gonna we're not gonna do the nines. We don't need to do the nines. We just hit the nines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the sixes and the eights to our hop play. Okay. So I have money here, here, and I'll get a bonus on hops. If I hit the five, it'll the the five hop. It'll protect my field. You understand? If I throw. Uh, any field win, I'm only going to lose six, but I'll make 15. Okay. All right. So here we go. Now this actually, 
these actually need to always be higher than the field. Here, here's why. If you throw a six or eight, you're going to lose the hops and the field. That's $21. So the 20 will pay you like what, 20, 25 or 24. So you'll get more than your hops in your field. So you're free rolling your hop bets. Do you understand? Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, so that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. We win 15 and we lose six. Okay, now when you win, when you win, you don't have to go up with anything. You know how like yesterday I taught you go up five and five? Well, we don't have to. We made a profit. So we're simply just going to repeat the bet and do it again. Okay, so on come outs, <clears throat> we do not bet the six and eight. The reason why it's just additional money that we could lose on the come out. Um, so what I like to do is I like to bet the field. And then I like to just do my hops. I'm going to do $2 on the that. I'll do $2 on the six. And the eight. Okay. So think about it. I have four four dollars here instead of fifteen. I have four dollars here instead of fifteen. So I lose less money if a seven comes, but yet I make more money if the hop hits. Okay, so we're good to go. Um yeah, we're good to go. We're only gonna lose a dollar if we hit a field, only a dollar. Okay, that's no big deal. It's no big deal with these sevens because we're playing for so small right now. And that um, what happens is, is on these hops, okay, we're going to go up $2 on each one. You're going to make the money back on the hops, okay? All right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to make this guy 40. It protects the hops, okay? Um, and this is the come out. Okay, so that's that's a whole the the we we did hop the six and eight right, so we're gonna we're gonna be fine. So watch what happens. Okay, we get sixty there. Okay, so um we I think we lost maybe a little bit. I, I'm not, I'm not really sure. I don't remember how much. I think we lost a little bit. Okay, so what we're gonna do? We have a point of eight. So now we're going to hit the rebed rebed. Okay, so now um, we're going to go ahead and we hit the 8, I believe, right? Okay, so we're going to get rid of our 8. And we're going to stay on the, whoa. We're going to stay on these. We're just going to go up a dollar. Okay, so we have the 5s and the 9s, okay? Now we're going to go... 50 here you know if we lose if we throw a six or eight we lose the 30 on the hops and 40 on the field that equals 70 so these guys need to be 75 each to cover both of these if we hit a six eight okay if we throw a hop bet it's going to cover the field if we throw a field bet it's going to cover the hops and these would be fine on a field win. You with me? Okay, that's really good. We lose this 30, but we win 80 here because we get paid 2 to 1. So that's a $50 win.
Okay, so since we won $50, we do not need to go up on our hops. We're going to just keep them the way they are. Okay, so look, we lose 40 and 30 is 70, but we're going to win 87. So we made, we made a $17 hit, plus we hit our hop. I believe we had the hops there. Let's let's take a look. Yeah, we were on the six hop, guys. <laughs> we were on the six hop. We left our winning bet there. <laughs> we got lucky with that one. Okay, so now that we we won that, we don't need to be so high anymore. So what we're going to do, we're going to go right back to small ball. Okay? Now, guys, I'll show you how you win big money, like... I don't just grind this small, like I do grind this small, but I show you what happens. You just play naturally, and sometimes your your hops get built up where they're so due, and then boom, they hit when you have like 50 bucks on it or 75 bucks. 75 bucks pays $1,125, and then the next thing you know, this sucker's up to 3,000. So I'll, I'll show you that in a little bit throughout. Hopefully that happens and you can see from experience, okay? All right. So what we're going to do now, we're going to check out what we got under our hops here, okay? We're going to go back to small ball on the five and the nine, okay? That's all we need to do. And we'll bring in the field and we'll put 15. So I'm going to go up with these guys to 20. That way it pays for this and this if it's a six and eight. Okay, so this is going to pay us double here. This is going to get 30, and we only lose four. So we do not need to go up. We're just going to repeat the bet. We're going to stay with the small hops. We do not need to go up. Okay, once again... Win 15, lose 4. And the hop bets will stay low. We do not have to go up. So think about what's happening. Okay, let me explain. What's happening is, um, actually, let me repeat the bet. Okay, what's happening is we're only at a dollar on the fives and nines. And we've been on a dollar for the third consecutive roll, which means... That the more rolls that you do, you're more likely that you're going to eventually hit a 5 or a 9. So we're winning money without going up. And our hop bets are always being paid for, for free. And then we eventually hit the hop bet. You with me? All right. So let's go. Not all my, for those of you that watch me, you guys know that I hop a lot of six, one, four, three. Um, but this particular strategy, I don't. I focus on the five, nine, six, and eight hops, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to repeat the bet. This is the come out. We're going to pull our six, eight down. We only focused on the hops and this. That's it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we lose them both there. That's $19 gone. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to start this one off at 25 each. And we're going to go $20 on the field. And we'll do our hops for two dollars each here okay so this equals eight this would be 20 if we roll a six or an eight this would be 28 dollar loss and we would be reimbursed with the six and eight
Okay, that's that's a really good one because we we have a five and a nine hopped. So we win the hop and the field. See, $20 for the field and $30 for the hop. That's a $50. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to repeat that bet. Okay, now these guys go back down. Now what you can do, look, you leave your five at the two each, and you go up one on the five because the five did not hit. Only the nine hit. So the nine is going to come down and just do a dollar because it literally just hit, okay? Now another thing I'm going to do here, okay, another thing I'm going to do here, I haven't seen a six or eight. So I'm going to do an extra bonus on the six and eight, okay? So we have 12 now. If we hit a field, it protects this 12. If we hit this, it's going to protect this and this. And we get a bonus extra 15 bucks for hitting a dollar hop on it. See what I'm saying? I knew they, that the six and eight was due. So what you have here is the mastermind strategy with a mastermind playing it. <laughs> All right. I know this is complicated for some of you. A lot of you uh, people who who are really good with craps or, you know, watch me and, and you guys play craps a lot. You guys know exactly what I'm doing. Um, you know, when you see it, you can understand what I'm doing. And some of you are completely lost. So, you know, uh, like I said, if you guys want to learn the game, just, just um, do a, a $50 training class with me. It's 30 minutes. It's, it's, you'll learn a lot. Okay, all right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to repeat this, okay? So we're going to just take a peek at what we got going here. Now, we hit the eight, right? So the eights are going to come down. We're not going to mess with those no more, okay? But we haven't hit a six, we haven't hit a five, and we haven't hit a nine, okay? So now we have 16 here and 20 here. This is 36. These are not enough now, okay? So these got to go up 10, and we're good to go. So you do you, you guys get that? If you roll a 6 or an 8, you are going to lose 20 and 16. So this now will cover that. If you roll a field, it's going to cover the 16, and your 6 and 8 are fine on a field win. So you notice that we're constantly, you know, uh, overcoming sevens. So, you know, we're not really betting very big here. These are very small bets, okay? So once again, we're going to go like this. We're going to go, we'll see if we can get 15 back on the field, on the come out. And we'll see if we can hit a hop. Um, we're going to be at $4 each on the five. $3 each on the 9, and we haven't hit the 6. We're going to go $3 here, okay? So we, if we hit the 5, 6, or 9, we're going to do pretty good, especially the 9 because we get this as well, all right? So here we go. Now, if we throw, a, um, if we throw an 8, uh, we're going to lose this 20 and 15, or if we throw a 7, we're going to lose that $35. Okay, so we hit our five. So I forgot how much we had, and I think four. So so watch how much we, we earn. Look at that, $60. Now, we do lose that 15 on the field, and we lose the rest of those hops, okay? But look, we're in profit on the shooter. So we're fine, okay? So we're going to go ahead. We got a five point. Was that a double? Oh, yeah. Okay, so check this out. We hit the five, right? 
We're going to come off of the five. We're not focused on the five now. We still haven't hit that six, and we still haven't hit that nine. Okay, so we're only hopping the six and the nine, and we're going to bet $20 on the, the six and eight, which would cover this. If we throw a six and eight, okay, it, now we have a problem, okay, because again, this is 15 and 15 is 31. These are not enough money. Now you're good. Six, you have to add your hop total and this total. Whatever that equals, this bet needs to be that size. Okay, that's really good for us because we get the field and the nine hop. Okay, we won $75 minus the hops. So now look, we went from $17 to $92 on this shooter, okay? And we're back building up our bankroll again, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to analyze. Uh, here, let me hit the repeat bet so I see what's going on. We're going to pull our, our, our nine down. We just hit the nine, okay? We hit the nine, we hit the five. So we're going to be at... We're going to be at $5 each on the sixes. Our focus is the sixes. Now watch what we do, though. Okay, watch what we do. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do 15, 15. All right, so we have 15 here. So actually, these just need to be, uh, shoot. These just need to be $25. Okay, look, 15 and 10 is 25. So we can come down there. Okay, we're good to go. Let's go. Okay, so five is bad, but we, we lose the hops because we took our five down in this. So we lose $25 there. No big deal, because when we hit the six, it's going to pay well. Okay, so we're, we're off, which means that we're just going to do a $15 field, and we're going to check out, we're going to hit the repeat, and now we're going to $10. We're in the, fi the $5 units now, so it goes up $5 at a time now, okay? So if we hit this six, okay, so what I'm going to do this is the come out. So I'm going to bring down my 6.8. I have my hop working here. And I have this. So I got to add $5 here. Because that way it will pay for this. Okay, so that's good for us. That's good for us. Because normally we would have lost this. But we got reimbursed because we hit a, a field. So we free rolled that six. We free rolled our six. Watch this. This $20 we got for free. We missed it. But we that would have paid $150. So now we're going to go up again with it. Okay. Now we got 30. So this sucker needs to go to 30. And now 30 and 30, these need to be 60. Okay, perfect. We lose here. We win here. We don't lose anything, guys. Anything. We don't lose a we don't lose a penny. That's why that this has become my number one strategy. Think about that, okay? Let me let me show you something. Think about that. You're making bets here. This bet would pay $225 and it didn't cost you anything. It was an opportunity that you got for free. And now it goes to $20. Now this will pay you $300 if you hit one, any six, okay? Plus you get money here. You'll get this money too. Okay, so now this is what we're going to do. We got 40 and 30, right? So what's this got to go to? 
40. 40 and 40, what's this got to go to? 80. Okay, here we go. Now, it's very possible that we're going to get picked off with the 7. Okay, the 7 is due. I could easily hop it right now, but I'm just hoping it's a 6. Okay, that is another free opportunity. Another free opportunity. Once again, you got your 40 back. Okay, so now these are going to become $25. You have 50. This needs to be 50. Okay, these need to be 100 now. Okay. We have 250 that we can lose to the seven. I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm going to overcome it if the seven comes. Okay, that one is $150. Uh, this one is a $100 loss. $100 loss. Okay, this guy is going to 100, and these are going to 200. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we made our $100 back. We lose the hops, but we get two to one here. So we ended up getting our $100 back. Okay, so these guys are going to go to 75 now. Actually, guys, you know what? Hold on. I'm not going to do that. We actually got our money back, so I want to keep this at 50. Okay, we're already high as it is. Okay, okay, here we go. We're just repeating the bet. And there it is, guys. Now, if I didn't come down, we would have just won $1,125 instead of $750. So that, that extra $25 that I took off, guys, cost us $500. <laughs> we would have won $500 more had I not come down. But, you know, these are single individual rolls, guys. You have to be careful, okay? So that's going to complete the session. I'm going to go ahead and come down, and uh, now if I come over here to my leaderboard, whoops, if I come over here to my leaderboard, now we are at the $2,900 range, okay? So we added the field to the system. Um, again, you guys can play it. You can play the mastermind where it's just like this. Um, you can keep it simple. You hop the fives. You hop the nines for a dollar. You roll. Okay, so this is exactly why I added the field. This is exactly why. Okay, now you're only losing, you're only losing four dollars. Okay, but had you done the field, you would have, you would have won fifteen. And only lost four. So you can, if you guys want, what you can do, I'll give you some advice, is you could wait for four rolls where you don't see a field. So if you see six, eight, um, five, these, these three numbers, and it happens four times, then I would go ahead and do a field bet. Or you can just incorporate incorporate it on every single roll like you saw me doing. Okay. So, um, you know, I have to, guys, I just invented this strategy just, just yesterday. 
okay? And I, all I can tell you is that I'm, I'm doing really well with it. And, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to perfect it. But I think that, I think I got it down now. And I like it with the field, okay? I do like it with the field. But sometimes, um, sometimes I'll do it simple. Like if I'm up in big profits like this, sometimes I'll just ladder these up and keep just playing small ball with my hops, you know? Okay, I lost... I didn't hit a, a five or a nine. I just go up a dollar, okay? Now, instead of four, I'm at eight, okay? And I roll. Okay. Okay, that's another example that the field would have won again. The field would have won and covered this money, okay? But at the same time, okay, at the same time, uh, you don't have more money going over here. Like sometimes you hit the six and eight and you break even. Sometimes you hit the five hop and you break even. So you have to look at it both ways, okay? Um, this is a simpler way. And then what you're doing is, is you're just focusing on the hops that you are have here. And that's where you make your money. You make your money on hitting these and your hops, okay? So what you're going to do now is these got to go up to 20. That way when you hit a 6 or 8, you get back more than what your hop bets are. Okay, so you hit your hop bet, okay? This, you don't lose no money. And you get $45 there, okay? And we'll come down, and we will. Okay, guys, I'll go to three thousand. <laughs> we can't leave it at twenty nine, right? Let me get it at three thousand, okay? Um, so let's do it like this. Let's go. Oh, this is the come out. Whoops, this is the come out. Okay, so I'm not even gonna work the come out. Let me just get the point. I just gotta get what fifty bucks, sixty bucks. Damn, we would have won. We would have had the money. We would have just hit our five hop. Okay, so that's one field loss, right? We would have lost on the field. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and just bet the, the five and the eight, the six and the eight, okay? And that's it. I just need a little bit of money to get the 3,000, okay? So I'm going to count how many fields. Watch. Okay, so we hit the eight. That's two field losses that we would have had. So this is the benefit without the field, is that you win money here or on the five, and you don't lose the field, okay? So that's two losses that we would have had on the field, okay? Here we go. If we see four non-fields in a row, okay, that's three non-fields. So one more and we'll bet the field. Okay, that was the that was the uh the the point. So we're gonna be off on the come out. Oh, the field would have won double there. Dang it, guys. Field would have won double there. Okay. Okay, so we only had one field win out of four. So I'm pretty sure that we can ladder the field up for the victory. Okay, so let's go for it. Okay, we break even. We make like $2 profit. We're going to be at $29.62. Okay. Okay, I, I I oh that was the come out. Okay, I'm gonna bet the field on the come out. Okay. And I am gonna hop the fives and the sixes. Whoops, that's too much. 
sixes and the eights because those three beat me and I'm off on my six eight. There it is, guys. I knew that we were going to eventually. So do you see my, my, my philosophy? Wait till there's like one, only one field out of like five rolls. And then you can try to like ladder up your losses on it. Okay. Wow. We're still not there, huh? Okay. Let's repeat that. Uh, let's repeat that bet. Oh, wait. What just happened? Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go here. Um, I want to put the hops there because that way I don't lose if it's a, well, I don't have to do the nine. If it, I'm only going to do the sixes and eights and the five because those beat me on the field. The only way that I lose that 15 is if a seven comes. That's the only way. Okay. So I get reimbursed. I get reimbursed. I, I, I lose a little bit of money, just a little bit. I probably lose like uh $4. Okay. Okay, so that's the point. So let's go. Let's go like let's just let's just go with the field. Okay. Let's just go with the field, guys. Oh, I got one hop going over there. Let's hope my hop my, let's hope that that was on the 6. Nope, it wasn't. Dang it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go now to 30. I'm just going to ladder my field until we get to 3,000. I have way too much money not to not to win. Okay. So without 30 and 15, that's 45. Okay, so we're going to go 75, 80. Oh, we get double. We get double. 160. We're done. Okay, we're going to be at like 32 or 31. 30. Okay, almost 31. Okay. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, give that a shot. Um, you, I think you'll do good. Uh, try it with the Bubble Craps machine. Uh, uh, guys, uh, I want to let you know. If you want to play Crapsy with me, I'm getting a Discord. I'm no longer streaming any Crapsy at all. I'm not streaming. I'm only using my videos for tutorials. I, I When I teach, I, I like to show you guys strategies and teach you strategies or show you how strategies play out. Uh, I think that I'm one of the best at doing that. I, I also think Waylon's great. But I, I think that... um. I'm one of the top people at that. So as far as as far as that goes, that's my focus, okay? Plus, I also want to do live gambling for you guys. But I do want to play Crapsy with my members. I really enjoy doing that. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a Discord, and that way you guys always can go to my Discord, and you always can have the code, but you do have to be a member. The minimum fee... For my membership, it's ten dollars a month. That's a personal thing with that supports the channel. Okay, so um, without being a member, you you you're not going to be able to go to my Discord and, and get the code. You just won't be able to do it. And guys, ten bucks a month is nothing. Um, you know, my goal is just to get uh, a lot of a good group of guys that we play together and we we enjoy it. So.